Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So this video wasn't supposed to be posted for about another year. I'm over on Patreon, I posted about two weeks ago, and when I started filming the video, um, as it was happening, I was just at a yard sale or an estate sale or whatever, and I was like, okay, hey Patreon, this is gonna be a special video for you, like I usually do over there. Um, but the, the video turned out to be a lot more um, share worthy to everybody. Uh, this video is crazy guys. I was gonna wait an entire year to post this, but due to the virus or something right now, yard sales and estate sales are like crazy good right now. Um, if you're able to do them, um, here in Colorado, if you wear a mask, you can go to yard sales and all that stuff. So if you're able to do those, I would highly recommend it if you're not too paranoid about going out there and stuff. Just two days ago, I found five sterling silver necklaces, a 14 karat gold necklace, and two gold earrings. Um, and that was at my very first yard sale. I didn't even make a video of it, but I did take some pictures that you can see right here. But yeah, originally this video was supposed to be on Patreon for the first year. Speaking of Patreon, we have four brand new major credit Patreon supporters. We have Tyler Pruitt, Shane Prothero, Shane Bryan, and Mr. Anything Tech. Thanks so much guys for becoming Major Credit Patreon supporters. Uh, I really appreciate it, it's because of you guys. I get to do this for a living and do what I enjoy and bring these videos to you. And of course you guys get to enjoy the perks of having your name in the credits at the end of each video. Plus you get to enjoy the perks of the $10 guys, the $5 guys, and the $1 guys. So anyway guys, we're gonna get into this video. Um, it's crazy good um i could not believe what i found at this place and i apologize for the gopro footage the gopro audio but it's all i had at the time but i think i edited this video in a way that you'll be able to understand everything so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video here we go Hey, what's up, Patreon? So we're gonna go do some more yard sailing today. I actually stopped at my first one. It's an estate sale here in, I think we're in Lakewood, Colorado. Um, we'll go ahead and look around. I brought my magnet, I got my loop. So hopefully we can find some little pieces of gold, maybe some silver, maybe some other items that are valued at higher value than what they're selling them for. And yeah, this will be on Patreon for at least the first year. And yeah, it is July 2nd, 2020 today. All right, let's go into our first one. Gotta grab my mask. And yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I've got a bag full of silver and coins and all kind of crazy stuff. I didn't even really check everything, but I do know I have at least $50 face worth of silver half dollars. We gotta take a closer look at this. I know I got, okay, sorry about that. I know I have a CC Morgan. All right, hold on a second. My battery's gonna die. All right, so I made it back home in one piece. I was like so excited to come to come home and show you guys this. I didn't want to open it in the car because my GoPro battery died. Again, uh, I do apologize for the audio in the first couple seconds of the video here. So the first thing, let's see, this is like an Elvis stamp and there's something in this little package here. I'm not sure what it is. It feels heavy. It feels like it's possibly a coin. Um, this is an Elvis stamp right there. I don't know the value on anything like that, if I should even be handling it. But we'll open this up in a bit, that little package. All right, so starting at the top, it looks like we have, this says United States of America. I don't even know what kind of coin that is. I've never seen one like that before. Uh, we'll definitely take that out and take a closer look at it. That looks silver. Florin. 
Australia, Australia shilling, 1943, six pence, 1942, six pence. That's an Australian three pence, 1943, 1934 penny, Commonwealth of Australia. And here we have a Morgan dollar, a 90% silver. All right, that's just the first thing. Okay, first of all, everything that I'm showing you, I got for $70. $70 for this stuff. Already with the silver here, we're looking at maybe 50 bucks. This little bag says miscellaneous coins, and I noticed a barber dime, 1903 barber dime. There's some foreign stuff in here. That's a mercury dime right there. We're gonna lay all this stuff out um, and kind of organize it. There's a 76 quarter clad. There's some silver quarters in here, 1963. Couple Sacagaweas, a war nickel, a, a really nice 66 40 percenter, and look at this, man. Now, if this is even real, this absolutely paid for everything. Just this one coin, 1891 Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar. There's a big ding in it right there, but I don't know if it's real. I know it's not magnetic, but 1891 Morgan. Um, I know because of the, the CC down here, it does have a huge premium over all other mint marks. So we'll check that out in more detail. And there's a bunch of other random coins here, buffalo nickels and some other things here, more silver quarters. This here is a Missouri sales tax token. I think it's plastic. All right. This was interesting, just a token. No cash value. Now this little container here had silver coins in it, so I threw it in my pile and said I was interested in this. Oh, there's a Libertad in there. Oh, what is this? It's not a Libertad. That's, I think this might be silver. It's 1961, I think it's Mexican. Nineteen sixty. 20 centavos right there. And a few more silver coins. It looks, oh, V nickels. There's a V nickel right there, 1906 V nickel. And a few more quarters, all silver. All of these have silver in them, and so does this. That is $50 face value or so. so no, it's a little bit less than $50 face value of silver half dollars. I'm not sure if there's any 90% in there. We will check them all. And I also got this. And here there's coins in it. It's like, it's a little bank. Now the guy who's running the estate sale said they tried to use the key to open it, but it would not work. Um, so they sold me this for $5. I'm not sure if they're silver or clad. So before the video ends, I'll make sure that we open that to see what's inside. Okay, so we're on coinflation.com, and this is gonna tell me the value of silver coins, how much silver value they actually hold. So right now the spot value of silver is like $18 an ounce. I have seven 90% half dollars. So let's look down here for the 1964 Kennedy half right there. They're worth about $6.50 each. So 650 times seven, we got 45 0.5 dollars worth of 90% silver uh, half dollars that's almost what I spent on everything just for the seven half dollars okay we also have 91 40 percent and they are worth two dollars and 66 cents so 266 times I can't believe I found all this stuff guys I'm like that's 242 dollars right there for the 24206. We're almost at $300 already, I spent 70. And we didn't even get to the Morgans yet, the, the CC Morgan or anything. So right here I have, these are the seven 90 percenters. Everything from here to here 
all these coins right here. This is the 91 40 percenters. All right. I just had them in different. Uh, these are 65s. I got 66, 67s, a whole bunch of 67s, 68s, and then a few 69s here. Um, we got a few pieces of clad. I'm not even going to count those. There's three, like four bucks worth of clad right there. Next, we have the 90% quarters. 90% quarters, we have 10 of those. $3.25 each. Didn't even need a calculator for that, although I did. All right. Uh, we've also got, what else do we got? We've got four war nickels. Okay, right here, 1942 to 1945 nickel. They're worth a dollar each, so we'll call that $4. We've got three 90% dimes. They're worth a dollar 30 each, so three times a dollar 30, we're looking at like almost four bucks right there. Okay, now let's get into the Morgan silver dollars. So we have two. Morgan silver dollars. Those things are worth $13.91. So that's like $28 just in silver value. Oh, by the way, this Morgan right here, this is a 1921. So that is pretty close to spot value. You can't really sell them for much more than that. So we're gonna put down $13 for that one or $14 for that one. Uh, we also have some foreign silver that I did not figure out what it's worth yet. And then all these other coins here, I'm really not sure what they're worth. Uh, I'll check Numista, and we won't sit through it like we're sitting through this. I'll do all that, and then I'll come back on and let you know what it's all valued at. Okay, so we have all the American coins, all all the silver values for those. Uh, right now, we're going to go check out the numismatic value of the Morgan, the 1891cc Morgan. All right, 1891cc Morgan dollar. Let's see what it's valued at. Now, this one is in pretty bad shape. It's got a big ding in it in the rim, and it's pretty rubbed down. I wouldn't call it a slick. Now here's how I check. I'll go over here to the left, and I'll click on sold items, and this will show us what people have bought them for. So I mean, ours is pretty comparable to that top one, $100. It's nothing like this one. This one is like, we're not gonna get $800 for this one because the one that I found is just, it's closer to, it's better than this one, 80. You know what, I think $100 is pretty safe. I think we can say 100 bucks, because it's better than this one. It's way better than this one, and this one sold for 99. I'm pretty confident that I can get 100 bucks for that 1891 Morgan. Okay, so in order to find out the value and the rarity and stuff of these foreign silvers, I got to go to Numista here. That's en.numista.com. There'll be a link in the description for it. Um, I'm not going to waste your time by going through and trying to identify this stuff. I also have these tokens to try to identify. Um, there's a few foreign things up here, uh, but these silvers are really what I'm interested in. And of course, the Elvis stamp, this mystery package that feels like there's certainly a coin in there, and this treasure chest. We'll open that. Um, at the end. Okay, okay, uh, quick, what did I do with it? Oh my goodness. Guys, I got a 1903S Barber Dime and I did not realize that this thing was a key date. Apparently it is, and I just checked eBay, and yeah, I mean this thing is slick and it sold for $76, $139. Mine's not that good. Mine's closer to being slick, but it's much better than this one. Um, wow, man. I can't believe that. I would say safely we can get... I think we can safely say I could get $60 for my coin. <laughs> wow. Okay. I got to write that in. All right, um, I was just in the process of heading over to Numista to do this stuff here, but um, I, I just typed this in eBay because it was there. And if I find anything else crazy, I'll let you know. Okay, so I also have a 1966 uh, shield nickel with rays. It's pretty slick though. I don't know if you can tell from this junky camera, but it's pretty bad, but you can re make it out 1866 on here and on eBay, in this condition, 
they are going for probably about 10 bucks. Probably something like that. Mm, I think, no, maybe less. Yeah, maybe five bucks. It, this one's pretty bad. So we're gonna call that five dollars. 1866 shield nickel. All right, that 1961 one peso, they're only going for about two or three bucks. All right, real quick, I just wanted to update you on these sales tax tokens. They're worth about a buck each. About a dollar each for these. To take this apart on camera, it's in this old like picture frame. I could take one of these little nails out or bend the nail back. And I could just kind of, you know, I'm gonna flip this over. There we go. Oh, they're glued down. Nasty. That sucks. That's like super glue on there. Why would they do that? Okay, I'm going through that uh, little picture frame and I got this coin. This is the same coin in this video here that I just found on YouTube. I was doing some research on it because it wouldn't come up on numista.com here. I typed in 1907 United Peso and Filipino and all this stuff and it wouldn't come up. But I found it here. Let's watch this video. Credit to Treasure Town. I doubt this is the one. I'll watch this video so you guys don't have to. But the S is going to be right there if it's okay. present. The super valuable one will have no S. And yeah. Okay, so I've got an S on mine. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool. I mean, this thing is really damaged, though. Um, as you can see, it is just scratched up. Okay, everything right here is from that picture frame. These are all American-issued Filipinas. And these are silver. The big one here is 0 .800 silver. The 50 centavos the 20 centavos and the 10 centavos, these are all 0.750% silver. And then this guy here is copper nickel and these are bronze down here. The total value for those is about $26 on eBay, sold listings. Everything down here, these are florins and shillings and six pence, three pence, one penny and half penny. Uh, you could resell that stuff for about $17 for all of them. So all of our American silver, added together, including the premium for the C.C. Morgan and the uh, 1903 Barber Dime and everything else, $453. If you add the stuff from the picture frame to that, we end up with $496. And we didn't even open up this yet, and that's what we're gonna do now on a better quality uh, camera because I know you can't see anything here. Okay, so first of all, this Elvis stamp is worth about 99 cents. All right, first, let's, uh, let's open this thing here. Can't really make anything out. Actually, it kind of looks like there's something there. See, that's like a shadow of maybe like a, a guy standing there or something. I really don't know. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, here we go. Let's open this thing up. Let's hope for another Carson City Morgan or something, or a gold coin. See what we got here. Okay, there's a coin in there, a United States coin in there. It seems pretty big. It's not silver. I think it's an Ike, an Eisenhower. Let's see what we got. Yep, Xmas, Christmas 1985, 1971 Eisenhower. So that is really cool. That's a buck right there. It was somebody's Christmas gift. All right, let's open this up. Let's try the key. The guy said he tried the key, but it didn't work. But let's try it anyway. It turned. Oh, there's definitely coins in there. I can see coins in this side right there. But I don't think that's how you open it. I don't know. Is it? Well, I'm gonna put something in here and pry it open because I'm not sure how that works. You know what? I don't know how to open this, but I can see that this. You know what? I'm just gonna pry it open here. We got silver, that's for sure. Awesome. All right, let's see what we got. I paid five dollars for this thing. We got one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven Sacagaweas. They're worth a dollar face value each. We got two Susan B. Anthony's. That's two more dollars. And we've got four silver quarters. Each one is worth about three dollars and sixty cents. So we've got nine dollars face value plus about fourteen dollars worth of silver quarters in our treasure chest. Okay, so we got like five hundred dollars worth of coins for seventy dollars. Um, and that's, you know, that's definitely the best treasure hunt um, yard sale that I've done this year so far. Um, last year, I think the best I did was a couple hundred bucks worth of mahogany wood, which I still plan on using for some future projects on the channel. But yeah, we got an, a Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar here, a 1903S Barber Dime um, right there. And another Morgan, a whole bunch of half dollars, 90% silver, tons of 40, 91 40 percenters. That's crazy. That's awesome. 14 silver quarters, all kinds of other foreign stuff. And yeah, it's worth over $500. I spent 70 bucks. I profited well over $450 today. Um, of course, I'm going to give all this stuff away on my live stream channel like I always do over at Clutch Guitars TV if you guys want to um, come over there and... I usually live stream once a week for about five or six hours. It's usually on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. If you want to come over there and get some silver, some gold nuggets and stuff, I always do that. Uh, every week I've been doing that for like two years. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is going to be on Patreon for the first year. And then next year, I don't know when. Um, I'm going to post this on YouTube at some point in the future because this treasure hunt's too awesome to not share with everybody. So if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more yard sale videos, hit the thumbs up button or let me know in the comments. And yeah, make sure you subscribe. If you're a Patreon supporter, you're already a subscriber, I would hope. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, everybody, for watching my video. It's much appreciated. I did notice that 73% of my viewers aren't even subscribers. So if you would like to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.